Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Cancer. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Cancer. So let's see what we have for the sign of Cancer. We have the alchemy, the five sacred elements. Alright, so you have all the elements here. You have fire, you have water, you have earth, you have air, and you have the last one, which is spirit. You have all elements. You need cancer. All You have all tools to manifest here. We will have a deeper look at this alchemy card, but we have number 19 with the Monroe. Solar energies, transfiguration, alchemical gold. You see, you're, you're manifesting something. You're transforming. You're transfiguring. You're transmuting something into uh, gold. All right? That doesn't have to be literal gold, but something that would be the equivalent to gold. Number 14 with Hathor. Magic. Medicine woman. Integration. You see that you're you're manifesting. You have, like I said, this is like the magician. All right, think about the magician. You have all the tools you need to manifest, to transfigure, to transmute, to transform something into gold, like the golden cup. You see that you even have a cup here. You're connecting with Mon Ra. You're connecting with Hathor for this key card. This is a key that's been given to you by Anubis, opener of the way. You have Anubis here that's opened the way for you for this. We have eleven with fast. Holy longing, desire, instinct, sensuality, higher love and wisdom, Hathor and Warjet. All right, so. Uh, okay, yeah, this is a higher. We have a holy longing card. All right. Desire. I don't know if you've been desiring like a higher love. Maybe this is a, this is what you may be manifesting. Maybe that that's that key that's being given to you. That's something something you've been longing for. Whether that be actual love, God's love, or some sort of family love, or love for yourself, or or different things. But either way, you have the key, Cancer. So let's have a look at your beings, so you have a deeper understanding of who they are. How to work with them, all right? So I believe the key card is first. Anubis holds the keys to the Egyptian mysteries within himself. He is an accomplished shamanic high priest and metaphysician, whatever. As an opener of the way, he is a powerful spirit guide who helps transport individuals from incarn one incarnation to another in one realm or dimension to another. During their shamanic journey or transformational process, he literally parts the veils between the worlds so that we not only glimpse the mysteries, we can also participate in them by being co-creators and manifesting our own dreams and realities. Anubis is a great gift to us, for within him resides the spiritual gifts of all the material, all the principles from the spiritual world. He guards us and guides us equally through the day and night, the light and dark. Outer and inner, in the spiritual and material realms, his purpose in bringing us this oracle is to deliver humanity a key that will open the heart and mind and reveal the inner workings of the soul. This key card is the significant card that designates Anubis as the grounding principle and spirit guide who is with you throughout the oracle. Anubis represents the shamanic consciousness that lives deep within each of our souls. Begin by, okay, well, it talks about things you could do with the card, but either way. Next one is number 11. The sensual cat goddess best creates the compelling desire to be born into form from the soul into the realm of formlessness. Her instinctual and holy longing is irresistible in its urgency to create new life. She shows us that birth is sacred and being born into form is a blessing, not a curse. She is our guardian through the birthing chambers each time we are ready to renew our form. As a fertility goddess, Bast represents the sacred side of lust and with sermon to know when to surrender the holy longing. Alright, so what, okay, Cancer, what I feel like, maybe this is something to do with creating new life, like children. All right. 
Maybe that is like the, the gold that is being created here. You know what I'm saying? Sacred site of lust. And the sermon to know when to surrender to the holy longing, which is based on the desire to embody form and connect to the soft, warm, animal aspect of our human bodies. Without her alluring promise of new delights, we would never have the imprints, or not the imprints, the impetus or courage to re enter the cosmic birth canal, be born over and over again. With each birth, we celebrate the joy and magic of our precious incarnations here on Earth. One of Bast's functions is to help the birth mother distinguish and call for the new soul that is coming toward her during conception. Every act of creation requires birth. Whether it is the words that come from your mouth or the food that arrives on the table. If you've drawn this card, Bast is showing up as a guardian and guide to lead you to your heart's desire and to bring your instincts and sensuality into alignment with your holy longing. Pay close attention to what you're now birthing into the world. Bast will help you see and hold to the higher dedication and commitment underlying what you most desire to create. Additionally, consider how cats are self-confident and self-contained and how they reflect for us a strong example of self-love and self-care. If Bast appears in your reading, make the time to settle in and pamper yourself if you deserve it. Alright, then we have number 14 with Hathor. Beauty permeates the goddess of love and joy, celebration and intoxication. She is the cow goddess of the night sky who is nourishment. Milk streams forth as the Milky Way, in the lineage of the most ancient grandmother, Neith, was sometimes depicted as a serpent, who reaches inside herself to pull out all of creation. An abiding sense of the benevolence of Neith is infused into Hathor, the medicine woman who integrates the light and dark into a magical blend of higher love and wisdom in her gold and silver chalice of healing. Her medicine resolves inner conflict. Anything lowly in form becomes divine when blended with her love. She has the power to bring you to the sacred marriage within, fostering unconditional love for yourself and others. When you are healed by Hathor's magic, you experience a peaceful yet powerful infusion of love. When she appears in her Lady of Beast aspect, all of Earth's creatures feel blessed and safe in her presence, and long to be close to her heart. If you've chosen this card, you have an opportunity to drink from Hathor's magical medicine chalice. As you focus on her loving presence, begin to resonate with the essence of the brew she's creating for you, a blend that includes the oppositions in your life. Combine alchemically to transmute into unconditional love. Feel the healing power of love enter and flow through your being. Problematic situations, struggles, and even strained relationships can be transformed when you integrate Hathor's love. Hathor can also introduce you to your allies and animal totem. When you pull this card, it's a good time to notice who comes into your conscious awareness. You might even find that a totem appears in your outer and physical surroundings over the next few days. Watch for the magic so you can engage with it fully. We have number 19. Amon Ra. Amon Ra brings together the great solar gods, Amon and Ra, who unite to represent the sun and fullness of its mysteries, honoring both the golden, illuminating brilliance of the day and the hidden mysterious night journey within the sun is invisible. Amon Ra announces our opportunity to step into our full inner authority, into an awakened state of illumined consciousness. When you fully embrace the cycles of life and death and pass through the portals of light and dark, each transforms into its opposite, and the dance of Ra and Amon, an alchemical process is unleashed as seen as the seen mixes with the unseen, that which is consciously created from that awareness. A project, event, or object is spiritualized matter, the alchemical gold. We ourselves are the spiritualized matter when we engage with the Monra, who infuses us with dignity and royalty. The powerful light from the solar mystery shines upon us and transfigures us. We become spiritually mature beings who embody the shamanic consciousness in everyday life. A Monra helps us to realize that everything we need to heal ourselves in our world is within our reach. He answers this oracle to help you find it. If you pull this card, you're now ready to embody the solar energies and radiate them out into the world around you. You have the opportunity to experience sacred marriage and enter into the company of the gods. 
becoming fully aware of your divinity as you meditate on the image of the mud raw may experience a feeling of radiant power and wholeness and a readiness to st step fully into your power in the world choose wisely what you create from this auspicious moment remember that whatever you manifest in the physical world not only shines as in the visible blazing light of raw but also reflects the great mystery of the unseen aman the hidden face of the sun and then i want to read your alchemy card Eight. Okay. The spiraling cosmic alchemical cauldron of the Akasha expresses the sacred archetypes of water, earth, fire, and air in an internal dance of creativity, death, rebirth, and illumination. The embodied shamanic mysteries on our planet, it is Akasha, spirit itself. That represents the fifth element. If you pull this card, you have all the tools you need to co-create your reality. Interact with these ancient material to see how they are assisting you to accomplish your goals. Manifestations in accordance with your divine purpose. These most ancient of Naturu have come together to help you become the master alchemist that you are. Alright? So, that is all I have for you, Cancer. That's all the messages. That's the beings you're connecting with. That's what's happening. That's... Uh, that is what has been open for you. Now, if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.